Um, my name is Emmanuel Frodenthal and I run the Dictator Alert uh, website. I also am an investigative journalist. And uh, what Dictator Alert does is it tracks aircrafts used by uh, dictatorships all over the world and also use uh, this, the same data in investigations. So there's so many different stories that you can do with the uh, ADSB data. We did an investigation into uh, Frontex, which is a European border agency, and we showed that they were aware of illegal pushbacks, pushing migrants, asylum seekers, back to another country which is illegal, which is what the Greek Coast Guards were doing. And Frontex was saying they were not aware, and we basically proved that some of their planes, but that are, you know, full of cameras were, were circling around uh, when some of these pushbacks were happening. The main downside of ADSB exchange is in Africa, for example, there's very little coverage. Uh, so I've installed some antennas, but mostly it's, it's uh, uncovered. Whereas if you go on the commercial website, there's more coverage, but of course, as you know, not all the planes show up. But if you're you know, in South America or in, uh, in Africa, it's going to make a big difference in terms of the coverage. And that means that the main source of unfiltered aircraft data, ADSB data, uh, is going to be much better. The, the Twitter bot that tracks uh, dictators coming and going from Geneva is the oldest one. It's been there since 2016, I think. Basically, there's a guy who's protesting against the noise at the airport. And so he was tracking the noise that um, aircrafts were making. And because, you know, um, he wanted to know which aircraft was making the noise, he started collecting this data. It's really amazing, like, what people do with this SDR. There's all kinds of other uses, like, you know, uh, uh, listening into um, radio discussions, you know, downloading satellite pictures, finding like transmission towers. People are doing crazy stuff with those SDRs. So it's, it's not just uh, ADSB uh, data. You can actually see on the website, dictatoralert.org, you can see per dictatorship all of the flights all over the world.